Medicare and you when turning 65. There's a lot of confusion going on about this topic of what happens when you turn 65, when can you apply, when can you enroll. In this video, I hope to remove the mystery of Medicare and help you understand what are your obligations and what are your benefits. And basically, what they call their four parts. Part A is your hospital coverage, inpatient care in hospitals, including critical access and long-term care hospitals. Now, it doesn't cover long-term care, but long-term care in a hospital, not in a facility. Part B is your medical coverage, your doctor services, and outpatient care were medically necessary. What they call Part C is what's called an Advantage Plan. I'm going to go into that in greater detail, but just so you know, it includes all of Part A and B as well as extra benefits. Part D is, a pres is prescription drug coverage, available standalone plans as well as part of Medicare Advantage. Now let's get you soon out of confusion. Medicare begins at 65. One, sign up for Medicare through Social Security. If you're over 65 or turning 65 in the next three months and not already getting benefits from Social Security, you may need to sign up to get Medicare Part A, the hospital insurance, or Part B, the medical insurance. You won't get Medicare automatically if you're not already getting Social Security. So bear in mind, that the Part A, which is hospitalization, would be automatic when you turn 65. Part B, you have to apply for it. You can go, we have a link on our website, insuredmeds.com, where you can apply for your Part D, uh, Part uh, A and B coverage. When is Social Security automatic? If you're already getting benefits from Social Security, you'll get Medicare Part A and Part B automatically when you're first eligible and don't need to sign up. Medicare will send you a Welcome to Medicare packet three months before you turn 65. You still have other important deadlines and actions to take, so read all of the materials in the packet. If you live in Puerto Rico, you won't get Part A. You want Part B, you need to sign up for it. Again, we have a link on our website, insuredmed.com. Full benefit age. Your full benefit age depends on your year of birth. And if you're turning 65 in 2020, it means your full benefit age is 66 in two months. As such, you'll reduce your monthly benefit by roughly 77.8% if you file for Social Security at age 65 versus waiting another 14 months. Keep in mind that while Medicare and Social Security are related programs, you're allowed to sign up for one without the other. If you wind up enrolling in Medicare in time for your 65th birthday, you can still hold off claiming Social Security. Now, let me say that again. You can get, Social, you can get Medicare without uh, signing up for Social Security benefits. You can still hold off on claiming Social Security. If you do so, you need to pay your monthly Medicare premiums yourself as opposed to having them deducted from your Social Security benefits, which happens automatically once you start collecting them. But, in touch, uh, but a touch of inconvenience is worth avoiding a reduction in benefits if you don't need that Social Security income right away. Now, a lot of financial advisors say wait to get full Social Security because once you're uh, at Social Security age and no further income is coming in, you got your pension perhaps or your 401k income, you want to try to get as much Social Security as you can. And if you wait to the 100% period, uh, you'll be happier down the road. If you can wait. Now, not everybody is healthy enough to wait or they need the income, so you take it when you have to. But here is a, a diagram showing year of birth and when it will be a complete Social Security full benefit age. Now, uh, those born in 60 and later are going to be up to 67 years old. 
those between 42 and 43 up to uh, 1954 is 66. Your coverage options. Choose coverage. People get Medicare coverage in two ways, two different ways. You get lots of information to help you make a decision about how to get your Medicare coverage. An official welcome to Medicare packet with important information about your coverage options, your official Medicare and you handbook once you enroll and each year, uh, every year, each fall. Mail for private insurance companies, agents, and brokers marketing the Medicare plans that offer and our, uh, our benefit, our website at insuredmeds.com. It's got a lot of valuable information to help you with your choices. You're going to get a ton of mail from everybody under the sun trying to get you to go through their service. We provide a national service. We, we give you all the options to get you the best plan for your particular needs. You get original Medicare, and what's that? Original Medicare includes Part A and Part B. You can use any doctor or hospital that takes Medicare anywhere in the U.S. If you want drug coverage, you can join a separate Medicare prescription drug plan, or what's called Part D. Now, bear in mind, Medicare has no limits on your out-of-pocket costs. They pay 80%, you have to pay 20%. And that 20% has no limit. So you have to have a plan to help you pay for that 20%. So to help pay your out-of-pocket costs in original Medicare, like your 20% co-insurance, you can also shop for and buy supplemental coverage, like a Medicare supplement insurance Medigap policy to cover the 20%. But that plan does not include prescription. So you have to buy the supplement plan plus a Part D or prescription plan. If you don't get a Part D or Medigap policy when you're first eligible, you may have to pay more to get this coverage later. For Part D, this could mean a lifetime premium penalty. A lot of people don't know about this. If you don't get the prescription portion, Part D, you could get Part A and B of Medicare, nothing else, you do have to get the prescription plan. And if you don't get that, you get a Part D lifetime premium penalty. Original Medicare covers Part A, covers the hospital stays, and Part B covers doctor and outpatient visits. And this is government provided. On our website, insuredmeds.com, we give you all the alternative plans and all the advantages you can get. There is an all-in-one plan, which is called Medicare Advantage. It's an all-in-one of all in one alternative to original Medicare. These bundled plans include Part A, Part B, and usually Part D. Most plans offer extra benefits that original Medicare doesn't cover, like vision, hearing, dental, and more. Plans may have lower out-of-pocket costs than original Medicare. In most cases, you need to use doctors who are in the plan's network. Now, there are various forms of Part D uh, uh, Advantage plan, and one of the plans is called a PPO. A PPO is a preferred provider organization, and that allows you to go to in-network and out-of-network without doctor's pr uh, referral. Uh, part premium, uh, for Part A premium, if you did not qualify for Social Security benefits, it, uh, you have to pay $458 each month if you didn't pay into Social Security the 40 quarters. If you did pay in the 40 quarters, it's premium free with qualifying work history. Part A, deductible and coinsurance. If you go to the hospital, you pay $1408 deductible for each benefit period. For 160 days. That means you're going to the hospital and you go in a 160 day period, you pay $1,408. For uh, coinsurance for each benefit period, days 61 to 90, you pay $350 coinsurance per day for each benefit period, days 91 and beyond. $704 coinsurance for each lifetime reserve day after 90 days for each benefit period 
up to 60 days over your lifetime. Beyond lifetime reserves, you pay all costs. So a lot of people don't realize that Medicare doesn't cover everything, and you do have to get additional coverage. Part B premium. The standard Part B premium amount is $144.60. Now, if you earn more than $85,000, or you have more than $85,000 in income, your premium could be higher than $144.60. The Part B deductible in car insurance is $198 per year, and then 20% of the Medicare-approved amount. So that means that you have a standard deductible on your Part B premium, and then you have a deductible of 198. So one of the advantages of getting additional coverage is to cover that 144 and to cover that 198. So let's talk about what a Medicare Advantage plan is. Medicare Advantage plans are a type of Medicare health plan offered by a private company that contracts with Medicare to provide all your Part A and Part B benefits. Most Medicare Advantage plans also offer prescription drug coverage. If you enroll in the Medicare Advantage plan, most Medicare services are covered through the plan. Your Medicare services aren't paid for by Original Medicare. Below are the most common types of Medicare Advantage plans. Health Maintenance Organization, HMO, where you go only to their doctors. Preferred provider organization where you can go to their doctor or outside doctors, private fee for service plans, which are rare, and special needs plans. This is for people uh, that have Medicaid and Medicare or are on special uh, needs like dialysis, uh, uh, heart trouble, things like that, or uh, diabetes, could get into special needs plans. Now, here, we have a Medicare Supplement Plan, a Medicare Advantage Plan. Doctors and hospitals in a supplement plan, you can select your doctors and hospitals as long as they accept Medicare patients. A Medicare Advantage Plan, you will normally be required to use doctors and hospitals in the plan network. Now, one of the advantages of the preferred provider organizations is they're more dispersed. Many of the companies have national coverage for a preferred provider organization, but an HMO is normally uh, restricted to your area. Specialist referrals. You can see specialists without referrals in a supplement plan. You may need referrals and may be required to use network specialists. Now, in a PPO, normally you can go to any specialist you want without a referral. Networks. There's no networks in Medicare supplement plans. Coverage goes with you across the United States. In an Advantage plan, you may have network experience restrictions. Emergency care is covered for travel within the United States and sometimes abroad. So it's important to know when you pick a plan that what lifestyle do you have that coordinates with the plan that you have. Enrollment. You may apply to buy a Medicare supplement plan, plan anytime after you turn 65 and join Medicare Part B. Medicare Advantage plan. Generally, there are specific periods during the year when you can enroll or switch to another Medicare Advantage plan. This is called open enrollment. Now, when you are new to Medicare, you have a special window to purchase a supplement plan or an advantage plan also without medical uh, requirements. No medical questions. They have to take you. Now, what are the costs involved in Medicare supplement plans? You pay a monthly premium in addition to your Part B premium. When you use services, your out-of-pocket costs are limited. Medicare Advantage plans, generally you pay a low or zero monthly premium plan in addition to your Part B premium. When you use services, you pay co-pays and co-insurance and deductibles. Prescription drug coverage. Prescription drug coverage is not included in a supplement plan. Let me repeat that. Medicare supplement plans do not include drug coverage. 
you will need to purchase a Medicare Part D plan. In the Medicare Advantage plan, prescription drug coverage is included in most Medicare Part uh, plans. So it's a word to the wise. The supplement plans are great because you could go to any doctor that accepts Medicare anywhere in the country, but it does not cover vision, dental, hearing aids, uh, gym, many things that are included in Medicare Advantage. It depends on your needs. So talk to a professional like Medi Medi InsuredMed.com. Medicare to-do list. Create a secure personal account with Medicare at Medicare.gov. To access your Medicare information anytime and have a more personalized experience. With your account, you can print out an official copy of your Medicare card, access and share your electronic health information, pay your Medicare premiums online, view your Medicare claims as soon as they're processed, find plans in your area, and create a list for your drugs. Contact me at insuredmed.com and we can help you with all this. Now here's a Medicare checklist. Seven to nine months before your 65th birthday, review your insurance plan's option. Contact the Social Security Administration to confirm your eligibility for Medicare benefits. Review your current health insurance coverage to find out what happens after you turn 65. Find out what Medicare covers. Two, four to six months before your sixth birthday, review your insurance plan options. Review your Medicare insurance plan options. Check your doctors to see if they accept Medicare. Three, one to three months before your sixth or fifth birthday, enroll in Medicare. Enroll in Medicare Part A and B. If you do not receive automatic enrollment information in the mail, contact the Social Security Administration. Enroll in a Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan or enroll in a Medicare Part D prescription plan and a Medicare prescription plan. Because if you enroll in a supplement plan, you will not have prescription. So bear in mind, you have to talk to a professional to help you make critical choices. And we here at insuredmed.com are, are ready to help you. Please subscribe, like, and share. Like us on Facebook. Click on the bell uh, or the subscription button on the right-hand corner to be notified when we put up a new video. Remember, Insured Med works for you, not the insurance company. We offer many options, many companies. We look to get you the best possible plan in your area at the lowest possible price. So again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Share this information with everybody in your family, in your workplace, that could be of service to. Thanks again. Bye-bye.